you're new here, I'm Corey. And I'm Lori. And this is the Northwoods where we're showing you that freedom is an adventure. And in today's video, we head north on I-75 to the town of Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, home of the Sioux Locks. The Sioux Locks sit on the Michigan-Canadian border beside the International Bridge that passes on into Ontario, Canada. The first attempts to tame the 21 foot difference in water levels between the Great Lakes started in 1797 when the Northwest Fur Company constructed a 38 foot navigation lock on the Canadian side of the river. This lock would be eventually destroyed in the War of 1812. The next attempt would not come until the state lock was built in 1855, finally making it easy to travel between the two Great Lakes. Former Governor Chase S. Osborne was a prominent figure in the town and held a variety of skills and occupations from newspaper publisher, postmaster, railroad commissioner, fish and game warden, and even world traveler. He was the governor of Michigan between 1911 and 1913. His memory lives on here in the town and community he gave so much to. As commerce through the channel, had grown to national importance. The funds began to exceed the state's capabilities, and in 1881, the locks were transferred to the United States government and were placed under the care of the United States Army Corps of Engineers. The Corps has operated the locks toll-free since that time and is the world's busiest inland shipping channel. The locks are 100% gravity-fed and use no pumps to transfer water. We were treated when the ship to pass during our visit was the Paul R. Tregertha, the reigning queen of the Great Lakes, as the largest freighter on the lakes at 1,013 and a half feet. The Tregertha is large enough it would take 584 train cars to move the same 70,000 tons of cargo. After walking up and down the fence for a few times, it became obvious we weren't going to get a picture of the freighter because the viewing platform was closed due to COVID. Yeah, so we decided we'd all jump in the truck, head on down the street a little ways to the Tower of History to get a better look at this ship. At 210 feet above Sault Ste. Marie and the Sioux Locks, the tower has observation platforms for visitors to get spectacular views and photos. The tower gives visitors a 360 degree view of the entire area, from the Sioux Locks and the St. Mary's River to the Canadian Wilderness. Thank you. 
Built in 1981, the Troy Gertha is a massive ship boasting 17,120 horsepower and has held the title of Queen of the Lakes ever since she entered service. From above we can appreciate this massive ship in all of her glory and the view is just simply spectacular. So it was getting pretty late in the afternoon, and we still wanted to get over to the Bailey Camp Ship Museum. Yeah, but we're going to save that for our next adventure. So make sure that you click subscribe, ring that little bell, and leave your comments down below if you've been to the Sioux Locks or if it's somewhere that you want to visit. Until next time, if we don't see you on the road, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.